A Toast to Life, episode 27. And she was about to not make it because no. she had a situation a, a situation last <laughs> night that we're, we're going to bring it up later. But we actually have Ashley Hernandez in the building. Woo! She, she's more nervous than anything. But mm-hmm. how old are you? I'm 25 now. 25? Yeah. Jesus, you're a youngster. I know. Well, 20, 25 yeah. years young. <laughs> Not how old am I. It's how young are you. And this was, what was it, last <laughs> last week, right? Uh, Your birthday. Two weeks. Two? two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. You know, we're still, she's still celebrating all month, so that's why yeah. she had a situation yesterday, mm-hmm. you know, with, with our main alcohol. man out there. <laughs> that's why she has water. We're out this here is with the happy dads. This we're drinking in this episode. Mm-mm. Not, not, not that. Not. We got it ready to go. <laughs> what do you do for work right now? Um, I work at a freight carrier, so Old Dominion. Ooh. So if you guys know about it, yeah, that's where I work. Damn, chilling. Yep. Fun little background story. I've met Ashley since we we're working. In the phone industry. Hus- we're not going to name we're the not carrier. Gonna- <laughs> 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 not the best carrier. But we, we were, uh, they didn't know, we are working hard. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting around when no customers were around, chilling yeah. with everybody, all the old, old co-workers. Shout out, Mark. I know you watched this, my boy. <laughs> um, but let's get right into it, dude. So let's talk about love. Oh, we're gonna gosh. We're going to hit this one. <laughs> we're going to hit this one good. So. Oh, gosh. Thoughts about finding a significant other, even though she's already taken, so don't hit mm-hmm. no DMs, no <laughs> nothing. We're not even going to tag the profile on yeah, this no, one. Yeah, no, none of that. None of that, but talk about that. It's uh, what, what do you think happens or to a person that you know, like, hey, this is the one for me that I see right now in my life? Like my love life or yours, yours, your the idea of finding true love. Oh god, you know it's gonna be good, well, bro. She's gonna need alcohol. My for this. love life was unexpected to who I'm dating now. It, I didn't go looking for love, which is I feel like usually how things work out. If you're not looking for somebody, the right person will always, you know, come by. Yeah, and my person so happen to you know set my way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, starts with a J. Starts with a J. No, I'm not gonna say the name because what if bitches try to get into his DMs? No, we're not. Gonna Are you? Just kidding. <laughs> on I, to the, I heard about your TikTok. By on, the way. on to the next. <laughs> on to the next. So, uh, are you a are you a jealous person? Um, yeah, I can be. <laughs> I can be. Why? Why the jealousy? Um, Let, let's you know. Maybe other girls are gonna agree with this. Disagree, and most guys would be like, "Damn, toxic." <laughs> <laughs> the toxica. <laughs> the toxica. Um, Why do you think that happens? Is it just because some people don't respect the like situation scenarios? Yeah, I feel like it can always come down to I trust the person I'm with. It's not. It's just I don't trust some girls around mm. because some girls can be very um out there. Yeah, and yeah. they don't care if you're in a relationship or not, and. Nowadays, a lot of girls just don't care, and it's kind of scary, you know? Yeah. Because I trust John. I trust him, but, yeah, girls is what I don't trust. So, uh, talking about how, like, how you just said right now that if foul, this relationship fell, fell into, like, you know, your life. Yeah. Previous to, like, beforehand, we don't want to get into, like, any details, but do you think those relationships, like, taught you a lesson? Compared to where you're at now in your life and in your new relationship? Yeah, just because I feel like I'm jealous because a lot of those relationships Mm. to where maybe I could have had a higher wall up. So maybe I'm kind of more jealous than I should be, but I have my reasons, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I feel like a lot of my past relationships have taught me a lot and I am the way I am because of it. Hmm. You know, it's not, <laughs> but it, you know, I I think too. Always, there's that's always gonna happen because there's yeah. always people that try to jeopardize what you have. Maybe they just don't want to see you happy. Maybe mm-hmm. they're just trying to get a little sneaky link in there. Yeah. But I mean, guys are savages. Yes, they are. They got no respect. No. Nowadays, people are just very brave. Mm. Brave. That's, that's what it is. That's the word. That's yeah. the word. Brave. Because, like I said, it's not only girls, it's guys. Like, I've had 
situations where guys come up to me and I tell them I, I have a boyfriend. They're like, oh, okay. Like, they just completely disregard it. Oh, shit. I'm like, did you not hear? Like, I don't. <laughs> the conversation is cut there, you know, but they just don't care. Have you ever been in a situation when you go out with your girls or anything that it just gets a little bit out of hand? Um, Like with guys? With guys. Guys, girls, in general. Yeah. I feel like a lot before, just because I don't really go out now, <laughs> but <laughs> um, yeah, before, yeah. Um, Guys just don't, I don't think they know what no means sometimes. Or boundaries, yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. And they just want to use the excuse like, oh, I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm just trying to be nice. And it's like, wow, well, um, this is where the conversation ends, you know? They don't understand that. Yeah, I think a lot of people, a lot of guys, yeah, I would say, sorry, guys, I'm going to be on the <laughs> side of the other girls right now, but we like to find any way to get in. Like, mm-hmm. I think the biggest one for people that go to school is, oh, let's exchange numbers for school purposes. And you get the number, and then right mm-hmm. away, a week, a day, even, not even a day passes, oh, what, this class, by Homer, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing this weekend? They switch up the conversation, yeah. I've had that happen. Damn. Is that why you don't go to school no more? <laughs> Did John There's a lot you? of reasons why. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you're just graduated what, earlier this year, right? I graduated uh, last year. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, really? It's actually going on two years. Damn. Mm. What'd you, what'd you graduate uh, so, with? I have an A in kinesiology, so eventually um, well, I'm going to school to be a nurse. So I'm just on the wait list for now. So I'm school's on pause, but eventually, once I get in. That's like a, nursing is a impacted. Yes, it's a very competitive field. Very competitive. What, what brought you into nursing in general? Um, uh, family. Um, I just always wanted to help people, but most importantly, like my family, they've been very unlucky or unfortunate to have a lot of health conditions. Mm. So it kind of irritates me when I go to uh, like doctor's appointments with my mom because she has cancer. So not knowing what they're telling her, what they're giving her, like frustrates me. So I want to be that person. I'm not trying to be a doctor, but you know, have knowledge in what's going on, what they're telling her, and stuff like that. How much does family mean to you? It means everything to me. <laughs> <laughs> everything. I feel like family is very important. Important. Have have uh, throughout the years, obviously now that you're 25, mm-hmm. having an older brother, having a younger sister, did that? What kind of role did that play in your life growing up? Like I know. Shout out to your brother. You know, he's a protective man. Yeah. You know, but your little sister, she is how old? She's 13. Thir- I think 13. Damn. Yeah. 13. So you being the middle child, right? The mm-hmm. one that they kind of shoo away. Yeah, literally the ghost child. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know you're not even in your home. No, right it's like they know the oldest and they know the youngest. So how, how did that, uh, growing up, how did that play effect in your life? Because your sister came into the world when you were, or like, 20, 12, right? Uh, she, no. 12, 13? She's an 07 baby. Maybe I don't know how to do my math. I don't know. Me 07? Either. That's why I don't go to school. She's going to be 14. Because my sister's 09, and she's going to be 12. Oh, okay. So she's, she's like 13, 14. Yeah. Not going to be 14, probably. So I was 15. We're going to take a small break. We're going to get this math done because it, something's happening. Oh, gosh. Goes to college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's 14. So how she's going to be 14 in November, actually. How did that play a role in the way you grew up, the way you carried yourself? Well, being the first girl also, I feel like in a Mexican household, you kind of have to grow up pretty fast. Mm. And I feel like it, that's in all households, you know, growing up. Mexican you kind of have to translate a lot of things and I kind of grew up pretty fast had to take on a lot of responsibilities I feel like Damn, take a shot just <laughs> just because you took a lot of responsibility man I feel that that stress right now already yeah. do you want one no no you sure <laughs> no thank and you I guess not but 
you think your mom and your dad were hard on you because you were the first girl compared to the how they were with your brother? Yes, very. Because not until like my late, even in high school, I had a curfew. I wasn't allowed to go anywhere. So my they just would always say, well, your brother's a guy. And they always would play that role, you know, like, well, he's a guy, you're a girl. To you, my boy. Good job. Jose, if you're watching this. You're spoiled. Jose. <laughs> Jose, you're the man, my boy. No, you're not. Oh, man. <laughs> and that's that why dope. I'm not taking one. No, no, no. We're happy people here. But it was just like congratulations to, you know, taking on all that yeah. responsibility. So that, I think that's just normal because my sister, she is older than me. Mm-hmm. But she got like the same lessons as you. You're a girl. You're not supposed to be out. Yeah. And I remember, Jackie, you're going to watch it. And uh, she would tell my dad and my mom, oh, but you let Luis Eduardo do yeah. this and do that. And I'm just like, I'm the guy. And she was the first girl, so it was like the roles were flipped. Yeah. So that's kinda. different because my brother was, was the first one. Did you grow an attitude? Did you have an attitude? Sometimes. <laughs> she still does. She Sometimes. still does. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm not going to deny it. But then again, I feel like because I was a middle child and my sister, well, there's a huge age gap. Yeah. I kind of, not that I raised her because obviously I didn't, but you were, you know, that person. Yeah. I learned a lot of things at a young age as far as like an infant and stuff like that. You know, it wasn't just like a, an hour, two hour thing. No, my, I would take care of my sister sometimes when my mom had to go do whatever she had to do. Dang. Mm -hmm. You had to grow, how you said you had to grow up fast. So you, did you think from then till now, now that you just turned 25, what what lesson or did you learn throughout that? Like an important phrase, a uh, word, meaning that like you look back and you're just like it just hits you. It hits your mm-hmm. switch. An important phrase. Yeah. Something that you like you have to tell yourself, you have to remind yourself. You hear it from somewhere else, you hear it in a song, you hear like but Well, I always Whenever, like, I'm going through something or, like, growing up, yeah, people have it worse than what I, you know, yeah. what I could possibly go, be going through, went through at that time. Yeah. Because it's, like, I can be mad for something so small or so dumb, and then I'm, like, why am I mad about that? Like, somebody can have it some, like, way worse than I can. Yeah. You learned to let it go. Yeah. Now, lately, yeah, because I am very, what's the word? Corajuda sometimes, so. <laughs> so, big left right here. We'll go back to the subject, but big left. You used to go to raves. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she don't think I remember. Oh, but. gosh, yes. Well, I used to go to events. She would enjoy the music and not enjoy the music. <laughs> I would enjoy it. That's what I would go for, the music. <laughs> So, Maybe a little alcohol would enhance, you know, but... So, do we do we remember the full event from day one to day five? Uh, day three? Day five. I wish. I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, she would walk into work and be like, Jesus Christ, what happened to you? Yeah, I'd be looking rough, but that was back in my old days. Ask me if I could do that now. Hell no. If you ever see Ashley with black glasses covering her full face... <laughs> Hey, Don't she, talk to me. <laughs> she she's she's not there. No, her her body's there, but her soul is still. I'm somewhere physically else. there, but my soul has left my body. <laughs> <laughs> you you think you're you're done with the party scene? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm, why is that? Um, because who said it? Uh, there was I think either Justin or, but where people are no Leo. People are like 30, 30 years old, 35, 25 and older. No offense to anybody. Don't take it bad. But partying like they're 19, 20 years old and they go hard. Hard. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm done. But people who can still party, hats down to you because no. Your friends party? Uh, my friends party. I don't. I'm a grandma. I'm an old soul, I feel like. But I feel like it's because I did a lot of partying. Early on. Yes. 
So I feel like I just got it out of my system. And then again, I feel like I could keep partying, but it's not the same. I'm yawning by 9, 10 p.m. <laughs> so that's why I don't go out. Ah, oh, man, that's us. <laughs> I mean, unless, unless some alcohol is involved, then we can get the party going and yeah, keep going. Depending, depending on the situation. But, yeah, I can't do events anymore. I, I want to go, but then I think about, a, no, what my body is going to go through, no. What do you, like, right now... In the way the world is, society, do you think it's a lot scarier now than when we were growing up? Yes. Like going to events, right? Events. Uh, we just heard that that thing that happened in Fullerton yeah. like last week. Going out. But that, I've seen articles. I was reading some articles. Yes, people, I do read sometimes. Very <laughs> short, but anyways. Um, that that has been happening for a long time. And I mean, Fullerton <laughs> is a place, I've, honestly, I've only been there twice. And I'm like, fuck, this is wild. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, when I was, you know, going to my events, that's when the whole shooting happened in Vegas. Mm. And EDC was happening maybe like two months after that or a month after that. And it was a scary situation because shootings are a normal thing. You know, girls, things happening to girls is pretty normal. And being a girl, is it's scary. It can also happen to guys, though. So, mm-hmm. I but mean, I think it's just like, man, hopefully, again, no, no one gets offended. But it's like when it happens to a guy, guys get rewarded or get praised upon. Like, oh, hell yeah, yeah. bro. Like, you, this is this. But when a girl says something, like, a lot of people just downplay it. Like, bro, why? Yeah. You did it. Your like, fault. maybe you caused it or what were you doing beforehand? Yeah. And yeah, that always happens. And it sucks because then. That's probably why, if it were to happen to a lot of people, that's why they don't come out and say it. Yeah. For the reason of being judged or questioned or just they don't believe them. It's a scary situation to be in, right? Because there was just that incident. Well, the one that I just brought it up, like in Fuller's Mm Hand. And waking up, you know, in a parking structure without knowing recollection of what happened. Mm -hmm. And then seeing the video popped out or they... They brought up the video from the bar and like I was reading some comments and it was just like sad because they're like, oh, look at how she's acting. Provoked it, provoked it. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think anybody in the right state of mind should never attack anybody or abuse somebody that's not in all the senses. Yeah. Like, Cause, I mean, we get wild. People, girls get wild. Guys yeah. get wild. They get sloppy, like falling down and shit mm-hmm. like that. But how you just said it and i always thought about it too like i have my little sister it's like fuck she's gonna grow up to this age Mm -hmm. i need to conduct myself the way i want people to do with her like we've seen previous like way before um people drunk and pescador (laughs) right wild yeah it gets crazy and it's just like all right well instead of going home with anybody here right any guy or whatever not knowing where you show up Uber, where's your ID? To this address, mm-hmm. drop off. Said and done. But then again with Uber too. It's, Ooh, yes. Uber's a its own situation with you know, Uber's also taking advantage. I don't think they I don't think they they do background checks on, on drivers or but even research then, on still drivers. Hap- it still happens. You hear about it a lot and it's like, Well, what are those backgrounds doing, you know? Yeah. Like obviously it's not helping. No, because like all these stories I mean they only publicize the stories of either attacks on them, on the passengers, right? Especially mm-hmm. when they're drunk. <laughs> what was it? It's a it's a funny story, but I mean, still, how you said, guys and girls, like uh, two weeks ago in Newport, and you guys went in the in the Uber, uh-huh. and the guy from whoever drove you guys there wanted to keep Raulito and <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he was he was like. It was, dude, he was, like, passed out. Sorry, Ralito, putting this out there. He was, like, passed out, and they were trying to get him out, and he didn't want to. And he literally said, oh, leave him, here. Leave him in the car. I'll take him. <laughs> like, so you have some good friends, Ralito. <laughs> good. Imagine. Shout out to Josh, bro. Josh. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Somebody they, got him off. He said, it, hey, because <laughs> he said, I want food. No one's getting me food. They ended up so... After that, they got him food, and he said, took two bites, and he passed out. He didn't He's another story. He's... <laughs> hey, 
Rodito, I got you. You made him take a big owl that day. We you're don't speak pro- of that. We you're don't, protective. We don't speak about my you're, birthday. You know what? There's protective. one There's one rule. Every birthday, I kid you not, maybe I go a little overboard with alcohol, but there's always a story. Do you remember your birthday? Um, I'm gonna it's post, a blur. I, I'm going to post a picture that we <laughs> us four took. No recollection remember. of how it happened. No <laughs> recollection. I just remember smiling, and I don't know what I was smiling at. <laughs> so clearly, it was a picture. <laughs> yeah. But so every birthday, something happens. I do something. I say something, and I just don't speak of it. I kid you not. For the past, like, five birthdays, they always bring it up. My brother and his friends, like, oh, Ash, they send me videos. I have yet to watch my last, like, four or five birthday videos. Mm-hmm. Well, go harder, go home, boys, girls. Yeah, we don't, but we don't speak of that night. Yes, I'm pretend. <laughs> I'm very over- overprotective of my friends. Why is that? Like, mm. I'm I, again being funny and the whole conversation, but in in reality, like, why protective of? Well, I have. I can literally count my friends on one hand. I don't have many friends. Sad, not sadly, but speak about it. right there. Sorry, I'm gonna. Oh. Bad thing or good thing that you have? A small um, it's group a good of friends. thing because I'd rather have limited a- amount of friends that I know won't do me wrong, you know, stuff like that. To having ten fr- like having many friends and always getting backstabbed, talking shit. Like I hear about those stories about people talking shit about each other and they're still friends. I don't, I don't see why people do that. Huh? Yeah. Get, so I'm very protected, protective of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> stay away, stay away. Don't I don't remember that. I really hey, do not remember you, that. I swear you you got in our face. Not in our face, but I I told Josh, you gotta come out, you gotta tell the story because <laughs> I I looked at Josh and I was like, hey dude, someone needs to go get Raulito. Yeah, someone needs to go get him. He he needs well, he help. was already a lost cause because he was already drunk too, so <laughs> we were both the lost cause. <laughs> nah, his sister in law was gone. And they were, they were probably left me because they already know me too. They're like, we're not going to get involved with in that. The, the, the si- your si- your sister in law was gone. Your brother was just like. My oh. brother leaves her. He's like, I'm watching you from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, man, Jose, we betted that you were going to dance with your lady and we ordered her a shot because you didn't. But I think John John paid that, so shout out to you, my boy, because I wasn't gonna do it. Oh god! But so you, at one point before you learned these lessons, right, about having mm-hmm. a small group of friends, because I had to learn that lesson too, mm-hmm. uh, in a hard way, sort of say. Did you at one point have a big group of friends like that, um, like how you just saying? Yes and no, just because I did know a lot of people, but I consider those people like acquaintances, not really mm. like friends. Yeah. It's just people, you know, old high school friends or stuff like that. Now, I've never really had a big circle. It's always been like family to me. A lot of my cousins, but even then, everyone, you know, gets older, has family. Everybody goes their own way. Yeah, everybody you know? goes their own ways. So I really do have just counted. I can count them on my hand. I w- I'd say that also, like, right, I only have a, people I can count on in the palm of my hand. But then I look at all the primos, and I'm like, fuck. That, there are a lot. I, I, like, I can't mm-hmm. count. I can't count no more. <laughs> so going. Fingers and toes. <laughs> now going into, like, again, friends, like, is there a lesson or a situation that, like, you kind of <clears throat> had to go to to, like, kind of realize that? Like, all right, I'd rather have a small group of friends than a big group of friends because, Less drama, less people to really... I have have had situations, but there's ones that I, you know, you obviously know about. Yeah. I'd rather not talk about, but it just, you see true colors, you know? So, better from a distance or just not at all. But then again, whatever happened in the situation, I don't turn my back on anybody, even even though they probably... Really? You don't cut them off? Like, this is it. Boom. Never well, yeah, I've up. had situations where I had to cut off, but this person's like, I grew up with them, so, uh, yeah. Are you, a, ni- are you a, a nicer person? Like, you can do me, I think... Uh, like, pushover? Yeah, no. kind of. Hell no. 
Why is that? I, again, the only reason I'm asking is because the people that listen, um, guys and girls, mostly girls in our age group, and I'm sure they're they're we're all trying to learn a new lesson, or we're just trying to get reminded of shit that we already know. So why is why why aren't you a pushover? Why well, I feel like also because we're older. I mean, we're not at least me. I'm not gonna tolerate stuff because I mean, maybe things that would trigger me when I was younger, I can care less about now because yeah. it's like, oh, whatever. It's nothing that I should care about because it's not going to affect me in any way. I'll just... We're done. Cut them motherfuckers <laughs> out. Where are we at, Brittany? Oh, sorry. Camera tech, where are we? Camera <laughs> tech? She is sending me hearts from the behind the camera. <laughs> For... You know, I always shout her out, but Brittany, my girlfriend, she's a camera technician. Your wife, soon to be wife. So, no, we're having a double wedding. Double wedding. So, we had the conversation Friday. Oh, yeah. So, this past Friday, we had our little gender reveal. You know, we're having a girl. Yeah. He still doesn't believe it. If you watch the video, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. He's looking at you like. I still don't, you know? No, it's a boy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, John wasn't there and they weren't there because they were in Costco, you know, <laughs> shopping. Costco. We're not sponsored we're doing, by them. We're doing adult things. We're not sponsored by them, but Costco keeps the Costco. Just to let yeah. you guys know if you haven't gone yet. Mm-hmm. We're going to go after this anyway. <laughs> but so that happened and, you know, we're out sitting around chilling. And It's my, not the first time, by the way. Yeah. I don't know. My dad. My dad is very... uh he doesn't he doesn't care what he says. So he looks at <laughs> at my boy, my boy, you know, he has a little little beard out there, little just small. That hey, if anybody shaves him, I swear I'll give you two hundred bucks. Someone. Actually Yeah. He'll forgive you at one point. At one point. <laughs> no, he will <laughs> Don't break block me. He I've already asked him, can I what can I pay you? What's the amount? He's like, You can't pay me. You can't give me an amount because I won't ever do it. Because my boy is priceless. Oh, you know? gosh. That's what you used to tell me when they used to shave it right after we had no <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But if you look, if I look back at those pictures, I'm like, Jesus, what I was it? What was I thinking? Because I let everything happen. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> so we're there. You know, maybe you guys have experiences that has happened. But my dad looked at him and he was like, Barbon, when is the wedding? When is the wedding? Ashley looked priceless. Like, oh, shit. John is like, oh, what? And my dad literally said, I'll pay for both weddings. Just tell me when you want to make it happen. <laughs> Which is a good deal if we have it together because, you know, we save on the venue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dad. You know, and uh, we can, if we sell the truck, his truck and his trailer, we can get a lot of money. Yeah, you won't do that. <laughs> 75 grand. You'll buy the truck. He said it. 75K. No, he said he'll sell. He said 80. Right? Yeah, he said, he said like over 80. He's a tough dude. He, undecisive. He's not going to budge. He's, He's undecisive. not going to budge. So can we talk about the idea of marriage once we come mm. back right now? Yeah. All right. An action. Ciao, marriage. <laughs> oh, Do you gosh. believe in marriage? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> why 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 John, marriage? Yes. <laughs> My boy, save yourself. Block the number. Block us. No, he wouldn't. No. <laughs> nah, he said yes. He said he's he's ready to get married when you buy him a fifteen thousand dollar ring. Yeah, he wants me to propose to him. Is that not normal? Está loco. Is that not normal? I mean, I guess it's normal nowadays, but he's gonna propose to me. He wouldn't take me serious. He'd be like, no. <laughs> big girl. Big, big like, girl. get a big girl. Don't cause a scene right yeah. now. <laughs> Your body shaming her, bro. Big girl. When oh, you, my. I you... told him, too. I was like, you stop calling me big girl. Avoid. And it's all either Raulito's fault or Gordos' fault. I don't know whose it is, but. Yeah. We'll, we'll blame both of them. What, what is the ideal time frame to get married or I don't to get think proposed there is to. A, as far as like being in a relationship yeah like unless you meet them at freaking downtown 
at a bar, and the next day said, let's go get married. Oh, I don't Come know on, that. big girl, let's go get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I don't think there is a time frame. Because I know people that have gotten married really early on in a relationship. But then um, I know people that have been dating for eight plus years, and they're still yeah. not even engaged. But I feel like when you know, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut that out. I would have, I would have cut it up in the clip. <laughs> if you know, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Jesus. Get it? You know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so do you believe it could take a year and be like, all right, let's get married? Yeah. An ideal, complete, big wedding, everything? Or like a... Uh, well, I've seen uh, depends because we're we're Hispanic. I know we're we, used to big weddings. We but believe in mar- my dad said, even if you do it by the court, it don't matter as long as the paper is there. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I want a small wedding. We can literally have temp- his family, my family, and I'd be content. The, and just we're married, you know. Just but, because but we I, don't want to hear and. Five, ten years from now, can we do a bigger wedding? Well, no, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like you renew your vows and then you can do, if you want to do that, then then you can do that. Do you guys believe in remarriage? Just because. Like, where, uh, wherever's going to listen to this, do you believe in having a second wedding to redo well, your first Well, it's not wedding? a second wedding. Uh, it, it's almost. It's You're just renewing your But vows. you want to do it bigger than your first one. Not necessarily. Not necessarily or no. not Well, see, here's my thing. Yeah, what if you're a little heavier, a little slimmer than you were before? <laughs> this, this is where the tequila happens, my guys, BPM. when you're a little. <laughs> but see, I've always said, I I mean, I say it now, but obviously once you're planning a wedding, I feel like the excitement is there. You want to do this, this, and that. But I've always said I'd rather have a small wedding and me or us save up that extra money for a house, for a trip, for the ring, anything, <laughs> anything you know? You're going to save up for the ring, right? You're Me? saving already? For? The ring. What ring? To propose to the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In his dreams. 15000 dream. No, 15, he won't even care for a ring. He'll be like, propose to me with a car or a truck or something. The Harley Davidson. Or a new bike. I don't know. He'll want a can I don't know. The Harley Davidson. Oh, gosh. He said it. F-250 Harley Davidson. We're ready He's not go. getting that. <laughs> Jesus. So... With yeah. the whole marriage thing, relationships, right? The whole, mm-hmm. the whole shebang that a lot of people. I'm gonna hit you with this fact. I don't know. I said it already in one of the previous podcasts, but it is more normal right now in our age group and sometimes even younger for people to get married right right after high school mm-hmm. because this is a forbidden love. No one wants to see them together. Technically, parents they get married. But in a couple of years, our age group is more prone to get divorced in the within the first five years. I believe it. But then again, that goes back to like our conversation to do you think a year is too soon? Mm. Because a lot of people get married within a year, less than five years, and they've been married for 20 plus years. And there's people that probably should not have gotten do, married. Do you believe in getting married first or moving in first? I don't know. That's hard because, like you said, nowadays, things are so different. You see, if you ask me, ask me. I'll answer <laughs> right now. <laughs> what, what do you prefer? Or what do you think? Moving in first. Did well, I, I feel like that? because you get to know the person. You know, you get, you get to know a person different when you're living with them. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I agree to a certain extent, but... I don't know. Yeah, I I personally think, I mean, everybody has their own opinions. Obviously, it uh, depends on your whole family yeah. and stuff going on. But I think moving in with somebody, you get to know them first compared to getting married and then moving in and then getting divorced a week later. Yeah. Cause you can't, you can't you, deal with You can't deal with things. that person yeah. the way they are. So, I mean, that's just, that's just me. Other people have other opinions. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, our storyline is we had we had a kid. We had a. I decided we needed to move out, and to we have did your own space. to have our own. Having your own space is big. It's mm-hmm. like a comfort zone. 
Why, yeah, because, it, you know, it's your home, you know, your your area. Yeah. It, it, no, I get that. It's a comfort zone, you know, like, mm-hmm. can be going, like, before we would get home at 2, 3 a.m. and then go to our parents and our mom and dad are just, like, yeah. <laughs> waiting. <laughs> que hora son de llegar. Like, yeah. Jesus. I remember one time with my compa, Miguel. Sorry, bro. But we were there with my sister at, at his his parents' house when they were, like, recently dating. It was like, dude, 4 or 5 a.m. with my cousin Junior, and we are just pounding. So we got home. I, they lived down the street from my parents, so mm-hmm. we got back. It was like almost 6 a.m. My mom walked out. She was like, hey, are you just getting home? And I was like, no, I'm leaving to work. <laughs> Cause you know it was we had a launch for for Samsung, but I was already in Monterey Park, mm. so I had to be there like at seven thirty. But it was six o'clock. I was like, no, I have to be there early because we have a launch today. So on my lunch break of an hour, I passed out in the in the car. I was dead, completely dead. Mm-mm. But well, see you being Mexican, you can be twenty five, twenty six, and your parents will still try to beat your ass. For getting home late, for not doing this. My I'm mom so scared sa- of my mom. <laughs> my mom said the next time I get a, another tattoo, she's not taking care of my kid. <laughs> no way. <gasps> oh my God. But I told my mom, I'm going to get her, her face tatted on my arm. <laughs> so I was like, Mom, I'm going to see you every day of my life. Oh gosh. But I think the whole. So I think what I want to get out of this episode, out of you, right? Because this is. This is a one in a million podcast with you. <laughs> I don't even think we're gonna, you're going to ever do this again. No, <laughs> ever do never. It again. Uh, maybe. But, like, for the girl's perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Because everybody wants to know a gr- how to understand a girl. And one of my closest guys, he said, you can never understand a female. <clears throat> you can only love them. You think it's hard to understand a girl, a female, yourself? Yeah. Yes. Fucking true. I because I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh no, I'm very easy, you know, because John could probably agree. <laughs> if he was here, he'd be like, yeah. But no, it's it's hard because there's things that maybe one person has gone through, so it's harder to get through to them, you know, and it's different for another girl. Yeah. So yeah, it's it. You think you love or. You and in general, like girls, love harder than guys do, or do you think it's like even? It can be both ways, but I feel like it's always the girl, mm. like more into or more loving, more in, to a guy, more in tune with their yeah. emotions. Because a lot of guys, I think you've talked about it before. Um, a lot of guys aren't into their emotions. I think you talked about it with Gordos. Yeah. I'm not sure who you talk, you talked about it with, but that's so true. Not. Like, guys don't open up. Girls, some, uh, it's hard for us girls to open up, but we open up. Guys rarely do that. So, yeah. it's hard, you know? Yeah, to really get into tune with, with your feelings, you know, this is quote of the day, my guys. <laughs> you got to <laughs> you gotta get in touch with your feelings, right? Yes. You got to be in tune with your emotions. To It's not about being less of a man or less mm-hmm. of a person, right, in general. It's just about really being vulnerable understanding what is happening with your life, what you're going through and building from it instead of holding it inside and then, you know, not being able to with, withstand it at, at the end of the day or when it gets too late. Yeah, because I feel like that can also affect a person's love life. Yes. If you don't open up. Because yeah. how do you expect the other person to know something that you dislike or you want yeah. changed and but you don't speak about it? Because you just don't want to seem like you're asking for it, you know? Yeah. Or you're just being a certain way. Yeah. And, and we spoke about it with uh, with Gabby. And I'm going to bring it back up. But I think with uh, also with Jackie in one of the beginning episodes that a lot of people now want to do boyfriend and girlfriend stuff but never have the title. Yeah. Never really like settle down. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying settle down, get married and shit like that. It's just like settle down, have the title, respect them, mm-hmm. do family things. Because I think when you bring them around your family, it's different. It's different. Mm-hmm. It, it has a total, a different weight to it, to the relationship. So that's why like a, 
when we talked about it then, I was thinking about it earlier, and I was like, damn, bro, like, it's cool to have, right, friends, to have mm -hmm. flings and no attachments, but at the end of the day, like, when you have a significant other, you know somebody is holding it down. Yeah. So it, it's just, like, for those guys and girls, right, because I think both genders do it. Yeah, both they, girls do it. Like, some girls just don't want the title, don't care for it, and same thing with guys. They, uh, what's that, what were they saying? I bring inspiration to them because I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear. Yeah. There is one, there is a, uh, a podcast, I think it's, uh, Fresh <laughs> and Fit and the girls that they had, and they were like, well, I bring inspiration to them because I'm a bad bitch. I can hold it down for them. And, but one of the dudes that was on there, Mr. Organic, shout out to my, to that dude. He was just like, bro, like. When you have it, you don't care about someone that's uh, quote unquote that. You care about what they bring to the table. Yeah. What do you bring to the table? What uh, are the qualities that you bring to the table? And then we'll double check with you. <laughs> no, don't double check with you. Oh, yeah. No. He's going to be like, he's going to say the complete opposite. Oh, he's gosh. like, nah, big girl. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's like, I don't know, big girl. I don't know about that. <laughs> Um, what do I bring to the table? Um, qualities, qualities. Top three, top three that you have. Yeah, that's a good question. All right. So any, ask yourself top three qualities, anybody. But right now we're gonna hear. Ask. I me. mean, some if, some people can be so quick to you know say theirs, but mine. I feel like I've always focused on my future. Like I've always planned ahead. So I guess that's a good thing. Like just being consistent. I guess. You're a planner. Yeah. You like to be ready. Yeah, and John <laughs> is not that type of person. Really? Yeah, I know. No, oh, we're like I, yeah, he does, and I know, it irritates I know, me sometimes. I know somebody that's a day by day person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Very, he's she's living in 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 my house in our house. No, uh, like I kid you not. If I know I have something to do like today, my day is. Like, going accordingly to that. Like, that's why I didn't do anything <laughs> in the morning time. My friends wanted to do brunch. I was like, no, I can't because I have something to do in the You morning. should have brought your friends. But that could have been another conversation. Oh, gosh, sir. <laughs> like, we won't, we won't oh, invite okay. certain people to the podcast. Yeah, don't worry no, about it. not certain people. <laughs> well, yeah, we can bring them, but they're a little crazy, so I don't know. So, I mean, maybe the people want to see something crazy. They want to <laughs> hear crazy stories. Oh, they have crazy stories. They... Call, call them right now. Tell them, head out to Fontana. We're, oh, having, we're having a party. One lives not too far from here, so she'll probably come by. She can tell you about teen mom, breakups. Sorry, Rube's putting your life out there, but. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, I'll send, send a message right now. I'll tell you. We're ready for round two right She's now. She's actually probably at home right now. Let me track her. Send and done. Let me track yeah. Let me track yeah. I would say, are you tracking John? But my John has. He a, doesn't have a. Uh, he has a iPhone. PS phone, a BS <laughs> phone right now. Uh, I have no service. Oh, she's in Fontana. There, tell her. Pull up. Ruby Podcast pull up. right now. <laughs> She'll come. She has a son though, so. We, we do too. They can, they can play. Yeah, no, he's um, he's a little crazy though. But that's where you're gonna be here. You're you're you're, you're, you're a babysitter, right? <laughs> yes, I am. To a crazy little girl. Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, with with everything happening, do you? Have we talked. We literally. You brought it up about being in tune. Mental health. Mm -hmm. How important is that to you? Very important. Just because I feel like again, it can also be other um, ethnicities, but I think in a Mexican household, it's not a real thing. No. Like, they don't believe in that. I mean, maybe now, with the new generation, like, they're learning more stuff. But before, like, anxiety, oh, no, you're just, you need to relax. You're <laughs> getting out of control. Yeah. Like, anxiety is not a thing. Depression's not a thing. Toughen up. Yeah. I believe in mental health. Like, take care of yourself. Do you take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. what's, what's a routine that you do, like, when you know you're struggling a little bit? Like, what's one thing or a couple mm -hmm. things that you back in check well i'll give myself days because i know i'm like my body needs a break yeah um so i'll just take either a whole day to myself or i'll just be home and be lazy mm. just to like get my head back on you know the right track whatever i might be going through at that moment so when say 
I like I I like bringing up this type of question. So, say a 18, 24, 25 year old girl comes up to you, and after she sees a podcast, she asks you, like, bro, like, how did you get through this certain situation, or how did you get through life in general? How would you answer that? Well, I'm still getting through life. <laughs> it's it's hard, especially now. Like I feel, we're just not gonna get into that. Can we cut this out? Because I didn't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> I went blank. <laughs> she is raw and organic right here, yeah. my dude. But <laughs> <laughs> you know. If you know, you know. Oh, okay? gosh. If you know, you I know. already know where this video is going to end up. Oh, My man. brother's going to make fun of me. John's going to make fun of me. <laughs> Probably be saying that whole phrase. Oh, gosh. <laughs> right? If you know, you know. <laughs> you know? You know? <laughs> oh, my God. If you're going to say a phrase, you better say that word three yeah. different times to make it <laughs> understand. <laughs> I'm going to say that now. That's going to be my motto. <laughs> if you know, you. <laughs> That's going to be the motto right now. We're going we're gonna to tweet that and it's going to go viral for everybody. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Twitter fingers. You still have Twitter fingers? No. Out? No more Twitter? No. You're wild on Twitter. Drama. I think there's always drama on Twitter. Yeah. I got away from Twitter just because. A lot of subtweets, huh? Yeah. <sighs> subtweeting, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. And then things I don't want to see, you know. I think. Even I feel like social media could be a big problem in a person's Ooh. relationship. So, obviously, I have social media, but, you know. You have problems on social media? People try to start problems? Before, before. I think that's why I got off, though. Just because. Who do you want us to mess up? <laughs> we got some primos on deck. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but, no, I think mm-hmm. you're you're hitting it on a totally big point. Like, it's a big issue. Mm-hmm. To a certain It can extent. be, but it also, depending, you know? Yeah. Because there's certain scenarios or certain things that should or shouldn't be done. There's a lot of people, like, if we go back to, like, the way, uh, not even Instagram, right? Because people post, like, yeah, no. they throw indirects, mm-hmm. right? So, and how I said it, I've said it before, like, all right, if the shoe fits, then you find it very offensive. But Yeah. You know, most of the time, we're not talking about anybody. We're just letting shit be told. Mm-hmm. But people like to have some Twitter fingers, some Instagram fingers, indirectly. But I never understood that. No, me either. Like, like I think what's the point? If you have an issue, just go ahead and say yeah. it. And the way I am, if I have an issue, I'll cut you off. I don't give a yeah. shit. But there's, I think it's just petty, right? It's... It's very you put yourself in a lower standard. It's when, very immature. Yes, when do you start like doing doing that type of stuff. Because mm-hmm. man, what are we in high school, elementary? Yeah, still trying to I do got this? off of it like four or five. No, like twenty seventeen, I think. Four years. Yeah, four years ago. Maybe before that. I can't remember. I can't do math. <laughs> uh, but the type of people you're around during that time, right? Because that was the time we we used to work together. Yeah. But the the type of people that were around that time were just. I want to say toxic. Yeah. And I feel like back then, it was a lot of um, immaturity, too. Yeah. I mean, there still is nowadays. I mean, it's not like it's ever left, nor people... It will ever leave. Yeah. Um, but no, I'd rather just take myself out of a situation. Plus, it's not something that I had to be on or had to have, you know? Yeah. My life's still going to go on with or without it. And then no matter what you... How <clears throat> I always say it. No matter what you do, how exciting, how boring, like somebody just always has something to say. Yeah. Like they have, they feel like they're Noticias 34 and yeah. they want to And report. before, I wouldn't, I, I'm, uh, I guess I was that person. Like I would tweet a lot and at a certain point too, I was like, dang, I'm on this a lot. Maybe I yeah. should get off. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably Noticias 34. <laughs> Today, brought to you by <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> what is going on in the yeah. world of... But they still do that. Like, that's... Yeah. Like, obviously, they say Twitter's a hot thing, right? Because mm-hmm. you see all these 
uh, paragraphs or or pictures and shit like that that people are just like maybe not just posting about their life, but they're posting about or they're writing about a certain situation, mm-hmm. bringing it to light. It's like, bro, like I think personally, personally, if you fall into the replying game, you just fell into what they wanted you to do. Mm-hmm. What it? Uh, one of my favorite rappers he says it like. If you entertain a clown, you become part of the circus. Yeah, I feel like people you surround yourself with end up rubbing off on you, even if you say, like, oh, no, no, no. Because if somebody's closed-minded, then maybe you'll start maybe acting the same way. And yeah. Why would you want that? You know, even though you might say, oh, no, like, they're their own person. Well, I mean, sometimes you can or choose to be closed-minded as well, or whatever the case may be. Did you look at, like, your friends group? When the ones that you had, did you look at that? Yeah. Back then, I felt like, I don't know. I mean, I've always looked at who I surround myself with. Is that Noah? Yeah, he's awake. So you you surrounded, the type of people you had then to now, is that? Is it different? Is it different? Yes. Yes and no, just because, I mean, it's still the people I hang out with now. Yeah. But, uh, how do I explain this? Did you just have to uh, make a change to the lineup? Yeah. Like, you you were the coach. You saw it. (laughs) You saw the list. You were like, all right, well, we got to cut this person, this person. Yeah. Bring this person in, and and we make it happen. Mm Mm-hmm. That's just the way shit goes sometimes. Yeah. Like And I mean it's not a bad thing either. Nah. It it's a bad thing for those people, right? That yeah. are getting cut off and like, oh that person changed. But for me personally, like my life personally, this is what I needed. Mm-hmm. It's not because you needed more than me, I just needed it. Yeah. So that's like, you know, if you wanna have you wanna be soft, you wanna have her feelings, well, hey, you just weren't good yeah. to my life. Mm-hmm. You weren't a positive thing in my life. I feel like a person should always impact your life in a positive way, not... Yeah. Obviously, you know, you want people around you. Positive vibes only, but... Positive vibes only, <laughs> like Noah. <laughs> so, 1 to 10, where are you? 1 to 10. Mentally, physically, oh. emotionally? I would say like a... Seven mentally, just because I feel like school drains me a lot. Oof. That's the main thing. Yeah. And then just thinking, I'm already 25. I need to start planning for my future. Like that stresses me out. Like I'm not getting any younger, <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm 25 years young. But <laughs> it, it it becomes stressful. Yeah, because then you start thinking, why well, I don't want to be at home forever. Yeah. You know, I gotta start saving up for a house, and it's expensive here. So, I mean, you just got a house, so you know. Yeah. So Super yeah, expensive. Your brother, stress- too. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. What about emotionally? Uh, Ashley, emotionally, where is she? <laughs> um, I would say like an eight. Mm. Yeah, like an eight. Could be better. Always. There yeah. could always be improvements. And yeah. N- people need to understand, like, all right, you can be a certain, like, if you do the one to ten, you can be a certain number right now. Mm-hmm. But... There's always room to to be better. Yeah, definitely. So from from that, what is one thing that you would tell somebody that's watching, that's asking for help or anything like that? Well, what would I tell the person? Yeah. Uh, one thing that helped you get through to the point you're in now. Let's see. <laughs> um, I know. We're I know. all waiting. We're all waiting. He's like, "Are you gonna say it, or am I gonna say it?" <laughs> if you know, you know, huh, Noah? <laughs> if you know, you know, my boy. Um, I feel yeah. like I would say just. You're asking, what's that question again? <laughs> I just want to make sure. I'm not, see, this is why I'm an eight right now mentally. This First is, of all, I'm hungover. This is, this <laughs> so I'm not processing things right right now. Look at Noah laughing at me. 
<laughs> All right. After this today's podcast, someone sends you a DM of uh, it could be a young person, it can be the same age, and ask you, "Hey, I'm going through this. What? How can I get through life?" I always believe you cannot tell nobody anything from what you haven't done yourself. Yeah. How I tell everybody, look, bro, I'm just going to tell you what worked for me. To you, it may not work, right? And right away, when I tell you my situation or the way I got through it, you're going to look at me and be like, oh, yeah, I can't do that. Well, so again, that's just me. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you got to do it, but I'm just saying telling you what I went through and how I did it. So it's just like, take the... Take the advice. And advice, yeah. yeah. So what what's the best advice you think you can give somebody? I would always just say, air it out. Talk to me if they're coming to me. Talk to whoever you think you can talk to because I feel like a lot of people hold things back. Yeah. And that's a bad thing because it's just in your thoughts, you know, it's not good for you. So I that's... feel like just speaking to somebody... There's hotlines you can call, you know, if you feel like you don't have anybody. I feel like getting it off your shoulders is always good. Yeah. Even, I mean, not to be a weirdo, but I'm sure there's people out there who would just listen, you know, if you go up to any stranger. But I think strangers listen more than... Yeah. The because thing. they won't judge you. They don't know your actual life, so they yeah. can't judge, you know, so you feel maybe more open <laughs> to speaking to them. Yeah. I think people... People, mm -hmm. that's what they, and Ashley said it, I'd rather go to a, count, to a therapist because that person doesn't know me, doesn't mm -hmm. know my life. They're just hearing me out. Yeah. And it's like, shit. Yeah, John doesn't believe in that. John doesn't believe in a lot of things. Yeah, then you're right. He doesn't, I'm surprised he even answers me when I tell him about certain things. Like, bro, can I just talk? And he's there. But knowing him, I'm just like, bro, like, I know you're not that person either. <laughs> you're not, but he's like a, he's like a, a counselor. He's a therapist. He'll listen and just be like, oh, well. No, he's it, not a therapist. He'll be like, I know, big girl. I know what I'm you. That's what he says. <laughs> what it, he always says it. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, I don't really know, but. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, I need to take another shot. This is, <laughs> this is it, bro. We got, a, we got the little audience. Literally, little audience. Yeah, literally. Little mini man, right, Noah? <laughs> the little mini man? Your twin. Cheers. Cheers. Being oh being a big brother to a little sister, Jesus Christ. Are you guys excited? Are That's guys what ready? the world is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. My my nerves are having to worry about little girl in this world, how we just mm -hmm. said it. Mm -hmm. No, how we just said it. Um how you brought it up too and how we said it, it's harder now and it's crazier now. So I mean shit, that is life. Yeah. I feel like girls are probably harder because you have to worry about them more. You got to worry about the surroundings, mm -hmm. about people, people around them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you want a shot? No. To end it? No. You going to drink your wine? Yeah. <laughs> My wine. Your wine? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, Brittany, we ready or what? Huh? We're going to end it right here. Yeah. You know? If you haven't yet... You're going to share, like, subscribe, right, Noah, to this channel. We got, you got any questions you want to ask, drop them. I mean, this is episode 27, the best one. Technical difficulties because, you know, this, org this man, this is toddlers, man. You got to have kids <laughs> to understand this. But as I was just saying, Ashley's friends are going to like, share, with the whole their whole following mm -hmm. and and honestly i think girls support more than guys yeah no <laughs> i think girls support no more than guys <laughs> yeah like they'll they'll support them and they'll promote them and mm -hmm. support whatever they're doing and guys bro what's wrong with this why don't we support each other why don't we repost i mean besides certain dudes right all the primos <laughs> they, they can do it but dude i appreciate you for getting out of your comfort zone. Thank you for having me. Did we get you get out of your comfort zone today? Yeah, after. Yeah. It, it only takes the first <laughs> part to really get it out. Yeah. But I mean, how we said it before, <laughs> we didn't think you were gonna show up. I know. I almost did not show up. So. But we made it. How do you feel? Good. Good. Cool. Yeah. I feel um inspired. Excited to watch <laughs> yourself on camera. No, I'm not. 
I'm going to watch it, but it's going to be very cringy. I feel um, like I had my moments. You'll see. <laughs> you know? Do you know? I think that's going to gonna be me. Don't worry. We all know. <laughs> Shit. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. Ashley's wine and my tequila. We make Cheers. it happen. Here we go. Woo!